And welcome back to the Red Carpet Charity Preview. More than five and a half million dollars being raised tonight for nine Metro Detroit charities. It is a fantastic evening for those charities, Detroit, and of course, all of the automakers. Everything is top of the line tonight, including the cars over at Lincoln. Hey, speaking of which, let's head on over to Alicia Smith. Alicia. Oh, Stephen and Carolyn, you know, Lincoln is all about luxury, right? It's an iconic brand with design at the forefront. So you can imagine how thrilled I was when I was recently invited to design the interior of one of these babies. I know, hard to believe, right? It actually happened. And what I found is that sitting in the design driver's seat is pretty cool. Check it out. <laughs> If you're going for an ultra luxurious ride, you want it to be a treat for the senses, your senses, and that's where the Lincoln Black Label Studio comes in. Black Label is all about um, showcasing the three pillars of Lincoln, quality, personal service, and design. Paul Buchek is the Lincoln Black Label Operations Manager, and recently he let me take over the Black Label Studio at the Heinz Park Lincoln dealership in Plymouth. This is where a client comes to get fully immersed in Black Label. Okay, let's do this. I'm ready. We'll actually come to your home or office with our Black Label portfolio. Oh, looks yeah. so 007. Oh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. And what we have here is actually the opportunity to explore Black Label on your terms. The briefcase reveals a series of sleek canisters representing the four curated Black Label design themes. This is our modern heritage theme. This is the really classic black and white interior. So you have a beautiful Alcantara suede headliner. You have your Venetian leather on the seats, your really unique wood. And then it's all accented by a really beautiful red stitching throughout the vehicle. And then here we have our indulgence theme, all inspired by the world of chocolate. I can see that. You it's have your rich. truffle and ganache colors. You have a beautiful zero Cody wood that's actually used in yachts and high-end instruments today. One of my favorites, Center Stage. This is inspired by the open end of the theater. The fourth theme is like your retreat from the chaos, Oasis. Think of the rich sand colors. Um, we have a beautiful uh, burl wood. This kind of reminds me of Toski Stone. Can I design a car with this? Yes, absolutely. You okay. want, why don't we go take a look at a vehicle so you can see it firsthand? Oh, I love it. Your dream interior can then become reality in the Lincoln MK. KZ, MKC, or this fall in the new Lincoln MKX. I see what you mean, the leather, and you have three different kinds of leathers. Yeah, so this is actually a Venetian leather. But the red carpet treatment continues. Black label member privileges include maintenance and an annual detailing. On top of that, partner restaurants like Baco Ristorante and Southfield will cater to black label clients with a specially prepared meal. Decadence through and through. And from my perspective, going from being the designer to being pampered is not a bad gig. It really isn't. And it's all about, you know, luxurious materials, fine leathers, exotic woods. And it's all here in the Black Label design. And you can search for Black Label online to find out more. It's only offered at select Lincoln dealerships. Or you can come to the North American International Auto Show and check out the Black Label Gallery here at Lincoln Motor Company's exhibit to find out all about it. It was a lot of fun, I have to tell you. Let's see what fun Joanne's up to at the Jeep exhibit. Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun, Alicia. Thanks so much. You know, we were talking about design earlier, and this man right here, Ralph Geal, the VP of Design for the Chrysler Group. So good to have you with us. We're standing in front of a, a beautiful Jeep here. Tell us about this, a special design here. Yeah, it's a new Renegade. It's our smallest Jeep ever. I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, it's launching for the first time in Detroit. It's been shown in Europe. It's actually kind of the, the love child of the two companies, Fiat and Chrysler and Jeep pulled together this beautiful, beautiful new product. So. Yeah, I love it. You know, the Jeep, the Grand Cherokee and the Cherokee, huge sellers for Jeep. When you talk about the design of those vehicles, progressive is the term you use. Right? Yeah, you know, it's controversial. We launched it about roughly a year ago. People were not liking it so much, but now seeing it on the road, it's doing well. It's our best-selling nameplate. And we took a risk, but the Jeep brand has been growing in strength and popularity. We can kind of let our hair down a little bit and have some fun with it. You know which car I love? The Chrysler 300. Yeah. Just a beautiful, a, a beautiful design to that automobile. And newly redesigned, correct? At Joanne, I think you'd love it. We grew the grill about 30%, kind of back where we were in 05. You know, that car had such presence, such moxie, you know what I mean? Now it looks good. We, we touched up the back end, gave it the new LED tail lamps and stuff like that. So it's up to date now and ready for the market. You know, Chrysler's always been really at the leading edge of design. And before you go, the Viper. 
Yeah. It just gets bigger and better, doesn't it? Yeah, we just launched, uh, you know, our Tim Kaniskas for the Dodge brand launched our one-of-one -one program. So you can have it in any color you desire. Uh, within three months, it'll be in your driveway. So it's pretty cool. It is a great-looking car. Although we just saw the Challenger and the Charger with the Hellcat engine. And <laughs> even faster, right? So, all right, Ralph, thanks, thanks so much for being with us. All right, back to you guys. All right, thank you so much, Joanne. We're still over here in GM, and right now I'm with the executive vice president for GM of all their product development. You speak about products, they're putting them out. A lot of buzz this week, and it all surrounds Mark Royce and this car behind me, the Bolt. That's with a B. With get, a B. A, get us caught up. Yeah, well, it's, uh, you know, it's, it really changes the whole game of electrification and, and everything that's alternative about, you know, to gasoline. And so 200 miles of range, around 30,000 bucks, um, this opens the whole thing to people who may, may not have been able to afford electricity before. What about the 2016 Volt, which is a little bit that way over here? Get well, the Volt is it. brand new uh, for us this year, all, all new ground up, and it's really the second generation of the technology we introduced here a few years back with the original Volt. So we've taken and, uh, and really designed new electric motors for it, new battery pack. It's made right here in Brownstown. The car, of course, is made over here in Hamtramck. So increased mileage here on just electricity over 50 miles and total range of course you don't really have to charge that car you can drive it across the united states and and just use gasoline if you want to but uh great package great it took everything those owners saw in the first one and redesigned it in the second one it is so amazing where technology has been we appreciate you taking some time to join us best of luck with the bolt Thanks. and the volt media day everybody was like hey did you see the bolt did you see the volt i witnessed it all mark royce thank you so much thanks, for your time thanks for your time man all right we'll send it back to you guys Stephen and carol wonderful things going on at gm thanks so much vic still ahead eight hundred thousand people are expected to come downtown to kobo for the auto show what are all those people going to eat well let's find out what's being served up at kobo's detroit made kitchen Hey, I recognize the boss. Oh, yeah. And Lila. Oh, yeah. Welcome back. All the guys here tonight, including our boss, looking mighty good in their tuxes tonight. And speaking of looking good, joining us is the very handsome Ford CEO, Mark Fields. <laughs> Mark, thank you so very much for joining us tonight. If Carolyn that makes you handsome. blush, huh? It does. A lot it of does. people talk about it now. All right, you've been at Ford for a lot of years. I don't know, like 25 years or something like that. But this is the first time you are the man in charge during this momentous occasion that we've had. Uh, how does it feel to be that guy? Well, you know, I couldn't be more proud to lead our team. We have, of course, I'm a little biased. We have the best team in the industry. I want to give a shout out to all of our employees. We love you. I mean, look at these crowds. That's because of all their hard work, and I couldn't be more honored to lead them. Now, Ford really stole the spotlight this week. Even the president came in talking to Ford. You didn't even take the bailout, but he highlighted your company. Well, we were very honored to have the president uh, come to our Michigan assembly plant and uh, the uh, the employees just loved having them there and you know we feel really strongly about you know we did this on our own and it's all about moving forward and bringing out great product and, and having fun as a team. Did the president try to hit you up for one of the GTs? <laughs> we hadn't shown it yet but uh -huh. I am getting so many notes from friends I never knew I had around inquiring about one. Yeah, I saw Justin Verlander tweet yeah. at you guys the other day and said, hey, I, we told him we'd get back to him. I think he might be able to afford one. Now, we know you know the price, but you can't even whisper. Give us a little hint here on how much one of those babies will cost. It is going to be a, a very exclusive car, but of course, a great investment. <laughs> well, the first one out there is what, $9 million or something for the first GT you guys Well, made? our first, our second generation of GT that we produced in 05 and 06, the prices on those are continuing to go up because we only made 4,000 of them. And when we produce this new GT, it's going to be even more exclusive. Now, what do people tell you? What do they talk about when they tell you about that car and when Justin Verlander calls you and says, I want one? 
What do they uh, love so much? They love when they look at it, they go, oh my gosh. I gotta have it. And you know, for us, it's a showcase of all the innovation and technology that we put in our vehicles over the last couple of years. And when you look at that, it's really a culmination of a lot of efforts from our team and a good indication of what's coming from us going forward. Mark Fields, we appreciate you allowing us to take a little spot out of your floor here on the Ford well, exhibit. We're honored you come here. You get a chance. This is a, such a special night for, it is, isn't it? for Detroit, uh, and especially this year. Coming out of bankruptcy, the auto companies are doing well. We're going to move forward as an A special night for Detroit and a special night for Ford. And we tip our hats to you and Thank all you. of your success. All right, we're going to send it on over to uh, Brad and Glenda on the red carpet where they found a familiar face. Yeah, we did, and we're finding some good-looking cars out here, too, while everyone's looking at the cars, Glenda. We're looking at the beautiful people. Hi, guys. There's so many beautiful people out here, including this guy. Hi, Jimmy. This is Jimmy Rhodes of The List. It airs weeknights at 7.30 on Channel 7. Welcome. You clean up well, buddy. Thank you so much. I'm also wearing glittery tights under my pants. Oh. <laughs> the cars look great. The trucks look great. The people look beautiful. But what I'm really looking forward to when this opens for the public tomorrow yes. is the food at the new Detroit-made kitchen. We sampled the menu. Here are our top three favorites. At number one, a fresh take on an American staple. A local meat purveyor based out of Eastern Market came up with the Kobo Grind Burger. The Kobo Grind sounds like something would happen at a rave. <laughs> And number two, highlighting a local ethnic scene that might be out of reach to convention goers. Not many guests are going to be able to find their way to Hamtram to really enjoy some authentic Polish food. But by sourcing local stalwarts like Dudek Pierogi, Detroit Made Kitchen is already winning converts. Was that pierogi experience delicious? Yes, I would recommend it to my friends. And number three, it's got to be genuine Detroit conies with an appropriate serving size. You can never have one coney. The new Detroit Made Kitchen has a heavy responsibility. The way to somebody's heart is through their stomach. It is. So you're the most important ambassador for Detroit. Yes, no yes. Pressure. Very, very, no pressure. No <laughs> pressure. Oh, Guamkis, some of my favorite foods ever. <laughs> and Coney's. I'm looking around, wait. Jimmy. I don't see any burgers here for us. You brought us nothing, my friend? What the heck, man? So, so sorry. <laughs> I ate it all myself. Oh. I know, a little, little bit snug in the tux right about now. It's all right, man. We can loosen up. Let's go get some fudge while we're at it. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Well, hi, buddy. You, you guys look great. Steve and Carolyn, we'll eat after this, right? <laughs> and we're going to eat right along with you, Glenda. Can't wait. Bring some on over. We're getting kind of hungry. You know, Absolutely. Makers go to great lengths to keep their new cars under wraps. But ever see a camouflaged car right out there on the road and wonder what's it really hiding when next we go undercover with one of the world's only car spy photographers? I want to look tan. What should my caption be? I want it to be clever. How about living with my ladies? Hashtag live. I only got 10 likes in the last five minutes. Do you think I should take it down? Let me take another selfie. 